I'm back. Good news is the two pieces that you had to cut for the band to go around the middle is exactly the same size as the one that you use for the bow. Just check my notes. So you, you get the um, envelope punch board back out and you stamp at two inches. Right. Stamp. Sorry, not stamp a punch. At five. Now t flip it over and stamp. Now punch again at two inches. So you're doing two inches from that end, two inches from that end, and, uh, and it's five from either end. So I'll do that again on the opposite side. Two. Five, flip that over, two. Now to make it look like a bow on the end, you just pop it as straight as you can in the middle and punch. Straight in the middle, punch. Right, and that will be your bow. Now I'm going to stick this with dimensionals. Now you actually... Get your bone folder and just curl it round a little bit so it goes into a bow shape a bit easier. Now you fold it in. I'll do it from the looking from the top actually to check how it is looking. Good, so we'll get some dimensionals and I place them inside here, just one on either side. I'll press that down. Let's move this. Oh, it's popped open. Sorry, I didn't press that down enough. It was just moving my rubbish out of the way, right, do that there, and I'll just get a couple of um, dimensionals on the back, pop that on top of the band, like usually this band would be on the box, but you know why I removed it, because I've in error put some glue somewhere that I shouldn't. Now, I'll just put, I have a little strip here. This strip measures half an inch by two and a half inches. Put some snail on it. And I'll put that... Ah, again, I'm putting glue in here now. You've got to punch the end of this right on the end in the middle like you did with the end of the bow. I just realised then when I put it on it didn't quite look right and that is going to be the centre of your bow. Now with, in my last video when I made bows I just put a little button and diamantes and that was fine but with the size of this bow it just wouldn't look right. So I'll pop this back in here if I can. <laughs> I thought the last video was bad, that's where this one, um, this one has to be worse, right? And the heating's just come on now, so I might have to speak a little louder. So there we go, there is another Christmas box. It could be birthday, it doesn't have to be Christmas, even using that stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you think it didn't go so well, I can do it again. It was a bit crazy, but if you need any help, please feel free to uh, message me. I'm going to type all the details up now. Okay, thank you. Bye.